Hey everybody, this is Ted Drozdowski, Senior Editor for Premier Guitar. We're at the 2018 Winter NAM in Anaheim, California, and we are in the Marshall Room, and the man giving you a taste of classic Marshall sound is Stephen Smith. Hey Stephen, how are you, man? I'm good, thank you. A little tired, but good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the last day here. Everyone's starting to get a little worn down. Stephen is going to walk us through the new, well, the uh, latest entry in the uh, DSL line. It's the DSL 40. And tell us a little bit about what else has been happening with the DSLs. Yeah, sure. So this is the, the new DSL 40. We did have one before, but we've kind of made a few changes. Um, we've also introduced some new models. So um, overall, the DSL line has been revoiced. We made a few tweaks to it. Um, we changed the UQ just to make it a little bit more vocal-like. So we've shaved off some of the, the top end um, that used to be on there. And then we tightened up the low end response as well. Um, the mid range is a little bit more pronounced than it used to be. So overall, just a fatter kind of sounding DSL. Um, new reverb on the whole line. Um, this has got a, a different speaker in now compared to the old one. It's a V-type Celestian speaker. They all have sort of a high power and a low power mode. Um, and the big change that's catching a few people out with the DSL is they've now got master volumes on the 40 and the 100, which is also foot switchable. Cool. Well, for folks who aren't uh, uh, familiar with this line, including me, can you tell us about the tube array and some of the other componentry inside? Yeah, sure. So um, tube-wise, we've got four um, ECC 83s in these, so the preamp valves. And then there's two EL34s in this particular model. And basically, um, I mean, channel-wise, it's real simple. It's clean, dirty. Uh, yeah, exactly. But on the 40 and the 100, there's two modes for each channel as well. Um, so you get clean on channel one or crunch, and then OD1, OD2. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to display that for us? And tell us what you're doing before you start, and then let it rip. Yeah, sure. I'll just um, show you each of the four sounds on the DSL 40. Um, so I'll start off with the cleanest and then work through crunch. I'll probably bring in a delay in the effects loop so you can hear how transparent the effects loop is as well. Sounds great. And then we'll, we'll hear the overdrive channels. Okay. And Stephen's playing a uh, SSH Strat too, and we just heard the H yeah. for that to make it crunch. <laughs> Now we're going to take a look at the Origin 20. Uh, there's a 5, a 20, and a 50 in the Origin line, uh, and the 20 watt uh, combo right here is the uh, is the latest. Uh, tell us about the sound, man. Tell us what's inside, what the speaker is, what the tube configuration is, sure. transformers, anything that you think is notable. We'd love to hear about it. Okay, so I mean, overall, these amps are very much vintage Marshall, old school Marshall, very open, um, pretty much in the flavor of old plexis all those kind of amps. Um, so this is the 20 watt combo, and um, we've got a five watt combo as well, or a 50 watt combo, but we also do 20 watt heads and 50 watt heads. Um, single channel, um, all valve, uh, so this one's running a pair of EL34s, three ECC 83s. The speaker in this one is a Celestian 10 inch, it's a V-type 10 inch speaker, uh, and the bigger one in the 50 watt, it's a 12 inch midnight special, which is also a Celestian speaker. And you're going to put it through its paces for us, and it's probably worth noting that we have it in low power mode, right? Yeah. And did you say it's uh, a half watt output right now? Well, <clears throat> yeah. I mean, the, the way 
we're doing these, we're doing a thing called the power stem, which is a new attenuation for Marshall. It's, it's a, a voltage-based attenuation, and it doesn't actually alter the, the tone when you change it. So even though this is a 20-watt combo in full, you can also switch it down either to the medium setting, which gives us 5 watts, or the low setting, which we're in now, is half a watt. And that's the same with the heads. And the 50 watt, very similar, 50 watt, or you can run it at 10 watts or 1 watt. Yeah, which is great for club players who often have to run in a small room straight off the stage or something like that. Or if you're being mic'd and you don't want to destroy everybody else on stage with you with your own volume, you can pull yeah. it down that way too. Exactly. I mean, another thing I want to mention is the tilt control on there. A lot of people go, what's that? And what it's doing, it's giving you the same sort of feel of either plugging into the bright channel, the treble channel on a Plexi or a JTM45, or the bass channel. So they were the main two flavours on those old, uh, old amps. You could either go bright or dark or patch the two together and blend. So that's what the tilt control does. You can either go bright, dark or anywhere in between. Cool. And where are the settings for that? Like would straight up essentially be a blend and then left to right or? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So turn it down, you get the bass channel right up it's the snappy bright channel and then in the middle 50 50. okay and beyond that there's a, a classic control set with uh, volume master volume uh, bass treble mid-range uh and uh presence yeah, yeah. exactly classic exactly. marshall control set easy yeah it's perfect for the pedal guy as well this amp um so if you're into your, all your boutique fuzzies drives or that kind of yeah. stuff this amp reacts so well to all those pedals Cool. Well, let's hear the amp uh, with and without pedals. Basically, I'm running it on the normal mode now because it's got a, a, a selectable boost, which you can either do on the panel with a push pull or the foot switch. So in normal mode, it's super clean. On the OD uh, setting, it's not really high gain overdrive. It's just a little bit fatter, a little bit more gainy, but still very sort of martial. All right. Well, cool. Let's hear it. <laughs> Excellent. Now, are they both available currently? Um, I think they'll be hitting the States in the next two to three months, so they're ready to ship. Okay, cool. And what are they priced at? Um, price point, I won't be giving you an exact price, um, only, be parts, yeah. uh, only because um, I think the combos is going to be sort of sitting alongside the current DSL line, so it's very mid-price point okay. on these, so cool. very competitive. Okay. Well, I've got the world's easiest quiz question for you. Where do people go online to find out more about Marshall Amplification? <laughs> okay. Basically, marshallamps.com, and you can get all the info you need on these. And there's plenty of media and videos on there as well. So, Cool. And we hope you're enjoying our coverage of 2018. 18 Winter NAM in Anaheim, California. Uh, we've been uh, checking in with Marshall, but we've been checking in with people all week long. So there's tons of video coming, tons of video always posted. Keep coming to see it all at Premier Decon. <laughs> there's tons of video posted and tons of video coming. So keep coming back to PremierGuitar.com to see it all. <laughs>